Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be setting up a tier 3 blood altar and then making ourselves a tesseract. Hopefully, you guys are ready. Alright, guys, so in between episodes, um, I have done just a little bit. I moved our quarry, um, and this guy is rocking and rolling. I mean, it's doing so good. Um, I've used, I used the tip that I taught in the last video, how you, I mean, only go to uh, level 50. That should get pretty much everything that you're going to need that actually generates in the world. Um, almost everything. And you're not going to, like, see anything, any changes above the ground. But it's going to start at the bottom, which is really good. As you can see, you get diamonds. Um, so I put a big area way over there, and it's only on level 10 at the moment. Um, so it's mining from the bottom up. And we're gathering tons of materials. Um, I've already cleared this out, pretty much. Um, I cleared out all the redstone. It's so it's already filling back up tons of the essence here um, I've already made tons of gold and tons of iron because we're gathering all of it So yeah, this guy is producing quite a bit. It's also picking up some of my torches that I place underground as well um, And also all of the plant life that's underground as well uh, By the way, this builder can be used in any dimension So keep that in mind if you want to mine out another dimension This guy will break pretty much every block and you won't have to worry about it pretty nice um, I don't want to look up there because as you heard that spider noise is cr that spider is crazy um, I'll show you for an example. I got to stay away from this because he usually causes me But if I look up here That spider I guess it despawned I was hoping it would despawn um, But yeah, as you can see I don't hear it anymore uh, but yeah, I went ahead and made some more runes of sacrifice. Now, it, it does actually help. I didn't know. Um, but now I'm getting like 700 LP per kill. Oh, as you, as you can hear. Yep, there's the spider. So I set him off. As you can see, he's right here. Um, he can pretty much one-shot me. So, um, he's no fun. And I, I usually just wait for him to despawn. Um, and I can usually set in the water or something like that. Because he can't really do anything to me in the water. Which, uh, yeah. Okay. So, with that being said, we have a bit done. Uh, his sound went away, so I should be safe, I think. Um, but yeah, we have, uh, some things to do. I want to go ahead and make this into a tier 3. So I need 20 ritual stones. Um, I do have a few ritual stones, I think, in here from the ones I replaced here. Also made a, um, rune of self-sacrifice. I was testing things out. And kind of seeing what I'm getting. This is all stuff that I've gathered from just killing mobs over the period of time. Um, but yeah, all these runes of sacrifice are doing exactly what I wanted to do. Um, and I was taking a look in the guide here, and it wants us to make these sample catalysts. As you can see, it wants us to make at least one, and we get ten ore. You know, for some, I guess we get ten ore because tin is actually used in the process of making this bronze blend. But you can do all of this just like this. So. And what I found was easiest is to gather all your items, put a chest over here, um, and since this does use LP, you need your, your orb in here. So, you're going to want to keep that in there. Um, also, you're going to need some life essence, so you're going to want to make sure that you have some LP in your system, because it uses 400 per craft. Um, so you need to keep that in mind. And then what you do is you take one of each, or you can do all of them. I don't recommend doing all of them, considering... You could possibly kill yourself. And then just uh, holding down shift and just clicking everything in, it's going to make uh, another one really quick for us. I think there's, yeah, it shows us right there. Now we have four of them. Um, I think that you can pull items out, uh, but I'm not sure if these are independent, like if you can actually auto-craft into each slot. So it'd be nice if they made it where one side is one, one area, one side's another, you know, vice versa, and then the bottom is another area, and you can extract from the top. That would be awesome, but I don't know if that's how it how it's set up. Um, it does look like, though, on the top, that certain things that it should come from the top, but I don't know if it does or not. But yeah, we're going to need those eventually. Actually, I can probably go ahead and take them and go ahead and complete the quest. Um, and that's going to lead us to this which is another recipe, and this is used quite a bit through all of this, um, including making this uh, off, officia, off, off, insa, offensa, so I think that's what it's called. 
I could be pronouncing it entirely wrong. <laughs> I'll probably have to check it, but uh, yeah, we need some of that. We also need some of this, which is another crafting recipe that requires the catalyst that we just crafted, um, and pyrothium dust. So um, this this stuff right here is going to be used to make a powered spawner. I think we only need two. Yeah, to make one powered spawner. And then as you see, it's also used for this kind of auto spawner. Um, it's used for the slaughterhouse and then the RF tools spawner. So yeah, all these different spawners, it's used. Now, the powered spawner, I mean, it's expensive. It looks like it's um, maybe more expensive than the auto spawner here. But I think this auto spawner, I think it requires um, essence. Uh, I think it requires mob essence. So that's another thing that you have to worry about uh, obtaining. So um, the regular powered spawner just is a powered spawner. But yeah, like I said, we need to get our... our her uh, altar up to tier three, hopefully by the end of this episode. So um, I do need to get runes, and as you can see, I do have fifteen. That makes sixteen runes. That makes seventeen. I need twenty. Twenty runes to be able to upgrade this thing. So. 18, 19, 20. That should be everything. Um, I know we're going to need to uh, gather some more runes later on. I have been working on all of these blank slates. I've just been constantly killing mobs, blank slates, making them, <laughs> and then moving on. But the only problem I'm having is those darn spiders that are in there. They are such a pain. And they show up every now and then. Um, but man, are they a pain to get around. All right, so we're going to place down some blocks here. And then this center one, I think I'll just put the Rune of Sacrifice. Or Self-Sacrifice. That's in case I use the, uh, uh, use my Sacrificial Orb. If I ever need it, it'll actually go faster. And give me more LP, so I can't complain about more LP. All right. I also need some Speed Runes probably what we're also going to work on as well today. This is all in preparation for some later uh, later tasks. And I tell you what, having your altar pre-built like this makes your life a lot easier. Well, that skeleton's trying to shoot me. How crazy. Oh, no. There's no way. Well, I have a mess on my hands. Um, I need a block off block. And I need to run up here really quick. Get the mobs away. And yeah, I have to block this off. Um. It's so hard because I don't have my hover mode toggleable or toggleable. Let's go to options, controls. I need my hover mode. Simply jetpacks. Toggle hover mode. It's probably used. Yes. Man. Okay. I wasn't expecting that to happen. <laughs> that just ruined everything. Um, I hope it didn't blow up as much stuff as I think it probably did. But uh, we'll have to check. All right, simply jetpacks. Where's it at? I'll set it to. Nope. Um. There we go. That works. That it's not toggling. Simply jetpacks. Oh, that's emergency hover. Hover mode. Let's get that blocked off. This is... Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's a mess. Um, am I out of bolts? My bolts are gone. That's right, because I died. Oh my gosh. I died earlier and lost my bolts. So yeah, I have to make a new, fresh set of bolts. Actually, I have these. 
I just need to do diamond. One diamond. In moss. And then I should be good. I think I can put reinforcement on it too. Man, just everything usually uh, goes good, but uh, man, not today. I need to repair it with some iron. And other than that, we should be good. And 70. Now I can lock and load. Bam. We are ready to kill some mobs. Get my dead eye going. Okay. So yeah, it, it destroyed my experience and my hopper. Uh, that's okay for now. Because I didn't need it anyways. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'll have to fix it definitely. Um, but we'll I'll worry about it here in a minute. Um, it's not going to be that big of an issue. Okay. <laughs> so now that that mess is over with. Oh boy, I'm glad I made that a, a chest obsidian so that it's blast proof. That was a good call on my, my part. Okay, more runes. And you know what? I was a dummy that set this up like this. Bam! Okay, that should mean we now have a tier 3 altar. As long as I can check it. Okay. Now, the only problem is... Okay, this still says tier 2. I wonder. That's what I was wondering. Did I, did I set this template up correctly? Doesn't look like I did. All right, I'm gonna be right back. Okay, so I totally figured out what was wrong, but I'm a total derp. Uh, because yeah, I built the frame wrong. I thought it looked kind of funny up at the top. I think all I have to do is drop this down though. Um, I do believe I just need to drop the pedestal down. I can also drop this down one. And everything can go down just one, and I'll do that eventually. Um, but right now it's not that big of a deal, just as long as we have a tier three, and we, can, we have the ability to upgrade these guys, so. I need to fix this. Um, I'm gonna do that here in a minute. Um, and then this guy, uh, to move on, so like to get our next blood orb, which we need, because right now we're, we have the apprentice. We need uh, to look at the blood orbs. And so we have we started with a week. We went to we need to go to the apprentice, and then we need to now go to the magicians. And this requires an ice stone. Pretty easy, but look how much LP it requires. 25,000. So, the only thing I can think of is a rune of augmented ca capacity. So, this is uh, making some of these, uh, but it requires an imbued slate. So, we need to basically fill up in our, our entire thing, make an imbued slate. Uh, I need to make a couple of them, because I, I want, like, two or three of these guys. They're not going to be too hard to make, as you can see, it, you know, with the runes and everything. Um, these are actually not that bad. Uh, the Dark Steel is actually cheaper. These guys are pretty much free. Because, um, I mean, we're, we're getting all the materials free for that. But, yeah, it, 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 we should be good, I think. Unless this doesn't work with uh, the orb we have. Oh boy. I don't see it. Okay. That may not be a good thing. Um, we can make runes of more runes of self sacrifice. Um oh there it is. Okay, so well no, that's the magicians. That's the one we're trying to make. Oh boy, I don't think this is gonna work with what we have. So we're gonna probably have to struggle. To get that, we definitely don't want any speed runes, or, yeah, we don't want anything that makes it faster to craft. That's going to make it harder for us to gather up all that LP. Um, I think we're going to need to make some self-sacrifice runes, and we're going to need to make some more runes of sacrifice. That's what I'm guessing, and we're going to have to load this bad boy up with some of those runes. 
Um, because there's no way we're going to get enough LP to do that. That is two times what it takes right now to fill an entire thing. And then any time we take up, um, it's going to start reversing the amount of LP that it currently had stored in it. Okay, so I have a lot ahead of me. So I'll be right back once I get everything fixed up and looking nice and neat. All right, so um, I, I got a lot of stuff done. I mean, a lot of work done. Um, I pretty much, basically, I, re I did. I replaced all of these guys. Um, I made, uh, what is it, 6, uh, 12, 24, no, not 24, <laughs> 12, uh, yeah, 24, no, 12, <laughs> that's why I don't math on camera, okay, um, yeah, I had 12 of these, um, runes of sacrifice, and then I made, uh, 4 of the, or, not 4, 6, 8, I mean, 8 of the, um, self-sacrifice, just in case we need it, uh, it might be an emergency, but we do have it, and uh, we should do pretty good. At the moment, one mob gives me 1,500 LP, which is a lot. I mean, it's I'm doing pretty good with that, um, but I need to let these mobs gather up pretty much here. Um, we need a full tank, so I want to go ahead and fill this. It doesn't really take very long. About 10 mobs, and this thing is full. Like, right now it's full. The only thing I don't want to spawn is, like I said, those um, those bad guys. So we need to get those ice shards. Which I gathered a bunch from... You get a bunch of them whenever you fight um, all those monsters. And this is going to upgrade us and get us the next tier blood orb. Now, um, I did think I messed this whole area up. Um, I'm going to have to redesign this, I think. Um, but I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I drop this down, if that fixes everything or not. I think this looks a little wonky. Um, I'm not sure. I think it actually has to go down two for it to work properly. I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to take a deeper look at it and try to figure out exactly what I did wrong. But I know I definitely did something wrong. All right. So let's go ahead and get this. And this is, this is going to be kind of painful because I'm pretty sure I cannot make the capacity. I have to do, do it this way. So, I'm going to do this very slowly and meticulously. So, I guess place it in there. Make sure we have this. It's going to drain it pretty fast. I'm going to keep this going. So, it's an 8. 7. Back up to 8. We got mobs of fallen. I want to get this back up again. There we go. I mean, we're keeping it kind of steady. We're running out of mobs. That's the problem. Okay. What's it at now? Okay. Oh boy. I don't want us to run out. If that happens... Ah, perfect. We got the thing. Okay. Click it to me, now it's mine, and it's hooked to our life essence. I think our life essence stay the same? Yes, it does. So it transfers between all of these orbs. These orbs are just, of course, used for certain recipes and vice versa. Whew. Okay. So, with that out of the way... We now have our Magician's Blood Orb. And I think this says it's used for certain things. Um, the standard binding agent, the weak binding agent. All of these things. As you see, these cost 1,000 LP to create. Mundane Power Catalyst. This is all stuff that does with blood magic. Okay. And I'm sure they all have their own recipes. So it looks like you can duplicate gunpowder. I wouldn't say duplicate. This is all the stuff that you can do normally with... All of them, I think. But only certain ones. We actually need to get some Cyclops eyes. I'm surprised I don't have any yet. Um, yeah, I, I don't have any of those. I have not. I've not actually seen very many Cyclopses. And when I did, I didn't want to fight them because I didn't have very good equipment at the time. So what I can do, I guess, is leave this guy in here for now because the stuff that we need to ca uh, need to craft can be done there. And this guy will keep on us. And I think 
we've unlocked another section right here. We get solarium. I'll take some solarium. Thank you. All right, so I think this opens up a new section for us later on. Um, I don't know why this is not unlocked yet. It has no pre no prerequisites, I don't think. So like this is at zero percent. This is locked out. Requires one of two quests to be completed elsewhere. I don't see where the strand goes. These kind of squiggle all over the place though. They're kind of all over. It's kind of kind of looking crazy. Um, I did want to check my quarry, so I've been working on it. Um, hopefully it's not completely flooded out. Um, this guy is staying powered now. It stopped. Okay, so it's completely full. So it is, I guess, completed what it needed to get done. It's done. It's gathered all the materials out of that entire area. How nice. So I can, of course, turn this off. What you do here is, uh, you actually got this, or I got this through the quest. Um, you place it down. I just added it to channel one, and then it connected this to channel one, too. Made sure that this one was set to one and pointed in the right direction. I don't know if it goes in either direction, but made sure this wire was pointing towards it. And uh, I can turn it off from over there. And boy, this is storing a lot of power. Wow. Yeah, this stores just as much as the big reactor stores. So, that's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, the next shape card I can make... Um, I can probably... I mean, I can. I don't have to do it right here. Um, I don't think it has to be connected directly to this. But I can move it somewhere else. I can like do this whole my back area. Um, or do this area over here, which I haven't done yet. Um, but yeah, I'll probably do that. Uh, but right now, I mean, we have more than enough resources to get by for sure. Like, look how much real might we found. And rupee. And... <laughs> oh, that's so much stuff. And the titanium ore, which we need. Um, we have that now. So pretty sweet. Um, it just, a lot of this stuff has taken time, and so I have to take a lot of time. I don't have that much time to play this. I usually play it for about two or three hours a day if I get a chance to. Um, so I may be moving a little bit slow for some people, but, you know, that's just the nature of this, this pack. It's just kind of really slow. Um, but, uh, as I was talking about with Blood Magic, we're moving on. We're, we're definitely moving through Blood Magic. This wants us to move towards making power spawners. I was looking through all this, and it says craft a, uh, you know, automate your your reactor. Not not an issue at the moment. Maybe for a bigger reactor, it would be. Um, but set up automated crop farms. That we can do, but I don't want to do it yet. Um, craft more uh, ME system storage cells. That's something we're definitely going to. Actually, I've already done that. Oh, we need to import items from our quarry into our ME system. That's what it wants us to do. Um, then it says make an ender chest and link the ender pouch to it. Now, I wonder how expensive an inner chest is. Let me actually open this. How expensive is this bad boy? It requires a tesseract. Now, tesseract is something that I do need to make. Um, this just requires enderium gears, hardened lithium glass, which is obsidian and, and uh, not lithium, uh, aluminum, or lumium. That's actually not bad. Let's, let's let's we can work on that. We have some obsidian powder. We have some aluminum. We have some of that. We can make that in the induction smelter. Take out my eyes of ender and ender pearl. Um, we do need ender pearls. I'll do eight for now. They need to go in here in the fluid transposer. Maybe, maybe not. Um, that might be why it's not so easy. The tesseract frame. That's the tesseract frame is easy. The tesseract needs resident ender in the magma crucible. Ah, we need a magma crucible. So we need leadstone, energy cell, machine frame. So a leadstone, energy cell, 
Or is it energy cell frame? Oh boy. Alright, uh, we'll just make this for now. Hate that sound. Alright, magma crucible. Let's do oh, that's the frame. There we go. And we should be able to make the magma crucible, I think. There we go. And a couple of Invar gears. And not enough of this. I think I have some in here. I just never put it inside of our system. Yeah, I think I have everything. What? Let's so energy cell frame. What? Why am I still waiting on that? I shouldn't be. All right. All this for a one magma crucible. There we go. I think this actually completes a quest as well. For that, we get factory blocks, which is kind of cool looking. Okay, magma crucible. I'm going to move the item fabricator anyways, so... Huh. What can I do? I'm running out of space is what I'm doing. I need to actually just move all this stuff and kind of sort it a little differently. Because I actually want this to pump into the fluid transposer. I think we have... I think we have, yeah, redstone energy... That should be fine. And I can put those eight ender pearls in here. There we go. Okay, and we, that should get us some ender. Um, we still need a tesseract. And we're going to need two of them, so how much does this actually take? Um, it takes four buckets worth and one ender pearl gets you 250 millibuckets. So four ender pearls equals one buckets. So you need 16 ender pearls per tesseract. So 16 ender pearl per tesseract to get what we need. So yeah, we're definitely have to go farming for these guys, uh, but the tesseract doesn't look too hard. Um, if we dive deeper into it, the frame is Enderium Gears. One, two, three, four. And the hardened glass and then some diamonds. Right? That's all it is. This is enough for two. And what we can use this for is actually for powering our quarry and transporting items using our quarry. Um, so that's really nice. And this requires silver and bronze, which is nothing. So we can pretty much make the Tesseract core, or Tesseract frame. And then um, I think we can set this to configuration. I want orange, I want it to output orange and input. There we go. So now it's inputting that, and then I put this in here, and it's gonna start filling it. Slowly but surely, filling this with that, okay. And then, once we have the full frame, Tesseract full frame, um, we just make silver blocks and bronze gears. I think we can get this, guys. I think we can, this is just really slow, this is actually the tier two fluid transposer. It's the hardened. 
This is basic, this is a hardened. It's still slow. I couldn't imagine how slow it would be without that. I guess I need some another augment in here. Because, yeah, this is really slow. Do I have enough materials to make a second Tesseract? Frame. Ah, we're out of Enderium. So yeah, that's something I'll, I'll need to work on. I know we have enough of that. And I know we have enough of bronze, because I just made bronze. And bam, we now have a Tesseract. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, that's awesome. Um, is that actually a part of automation? It is. So we get Cloud in a Bottle. It tells you right here, it's meant for your quarry. It's It actually works really well for the quarry. What does Cloud in a Bottle do? Right click, throw it, this will spawn clouds on impact. I didn't want to throw my Tesseract. Oh! How nice! Super handy. Um, I don't exactly know what clouds are used for. But we have them now. So there's nothing you can do about it. We do have some clouds. Is this actually used for something? Chisel. Nice. Um, that's about it. <laughs> so yeah. I don't think you can make them either. You have to get them. You have to find them. That's pretty cool. What does it require to make these guys though? It's a part of chisel. I guess that would be really useful for making like some kind of setup. Um, like a nice little build. So yeah. Um, I'm going to actually take this. I'm going to go ahead and finish up making another one. And then I'll be right back. Alright, so this test rack is pretty much done. Um, it's almost ready. We just got to do our last step. And that is make all of this stuff. Pretty simple here. Bam, get this last bit of bronze. I was hoping I had enough. I thought I did. And now we have our two Tesseracts. Separate, but awesome. And that's basically going to lead me... It started raining again. I'm so tired of this rain. I'm glad I have the volume down, but... Man, am I getting tired of the rain. Um, I have it hooked to this energy conduit for a reason. Um, this ener The reason I'm using this energy conduit is so I limit how much energy this is actually using. So it's only going to use at the most... 640 RF a tick. So that's what I want to do with the Tesseract as well. I want to set that at the same. I want to basically put the Tesseract right here. Um, this can be moved. Not a big deal here. Um, and then our shape card, we can leave it in there, take it out. It doesn't matter. But we need to take this guy. I hope it... I don't know if it stores its RF or not. That's kind of a, something I don't really know. But we can leave this here. And we can place a Tesseract here. Okay. And then inside the Tesseract, let's kind of get rid of this. We do our configuration. So we're sending and receiving. So what we want to do is set it to send. Um, this is the receive only. We want to set it to send slash receive. Send items. We want it to receive items. Right? Am I doing this right? We think. Okay, this is fluids. None. I want it to, yeah, send. This is send items. Send energy. I want it to receive items. I want it to send energy, receive items. Let me make it where it says not receive energy. I guess it doesn't matter if it receives energy. But I do want it to receive items. Receive items, energy, send energy, send energy, receive items. So yeah, you have to finally get that all figured out. Um, and then we can put a uh, frequency, which we'll do one, set it, um, and then do um, quarry. And we'll add that to our Tesseract. So now we can go place this quarry somewhere. Like, it doesn't really matter at the moment, but we'll just place it um, over here for now. Let's place this guy right here. 
Oh, that's not what we need. That's the item fabricator. Let's place our test or let's place our builder block. There we go. Right here. Take our shape card. Uh, click on you. And then we'll move way over here and set up another quarry to mine exactly what it just had, uh, had been doing. So just like that. And then you click on the ground and set the, co set the card so you know what it's doing. And then do what I've been doing. I take this and I'm going to set this to 50 tall. It's going to change your radius. And then this will be whatever our current Y is. So 63. So set this to negative 63. And that should be good. Um, I have noticed that it is not voiding cobblestone. So don't know why, but it's not. Uh, but we can put that in there. Oh, it does retain its power. Nice. Okay, and then the test racked. Let's set this up. Put its frequency one. Quarry. It's set. And we'll set this to um, sending. We need to set that to receiving. We need to send items. Receive. Energy. Yes. Okay. Send items. It says fluids and energy, but we can disable that. So that way it's only sending items and receiving energy. Correct. And then as soon as I give this a redstone signal, I'll turn this around, set this to one and then actually turn our system on, it should work. It should be using a lot of power right now. It says it's done. I don't know if that's the case. <laughs> I don't know how that's possible. I don't know if my shape card was set up correctly. I have to go back and try this again. Make sure my shape card is set up. But then again, I did mine a lot of this area. So there is a very good chance that this area has been cleared out. All right, let's try this again. It's already filling back up with power, as you can see. So that Tesseract part is working. It's just getting our card working is the issue. Okay. If I put this in here... It's still stopped because you normally have to toggle this. So uh, right now I'm just going to use a lever instead of using this system. That way I can just make sure everything looks correct. Okay, so let's click on you. Let's go back over here. Select a bigger area this time. New settings, copy to shape card. And I should be able to put this in. And view the dimensions. It's not, I can't see them. Something's wrong. Sneak right click on the builder to mark, then right click to mark the corners of the wanted area. what it just did all right so let's set this to five I'm not getting a preview there I am okay so I mean this is an area but it's not the area that I had selected That's kind of strange. Did I go over the amount that I'm allowed? Okay. Right, I just want to make sure again. Do a smaller area this time. Sometimes the shape card can be kind of finicky. Got to kind of work with it a little bit. 
There it goes. Now it's now it showed up. Okay, so now I should be able to set this card to 50 up. Let's do 75 up. Change it up this time. 75 up in the air. Really nice. Okay, and then I can drop it down with the offset to negative 63. And now try it. Is it coming up above ground? It's not, but it should be down here. Huh. It doesn't look like that's what changed it. Let me just check one more time and make sure that's actually what changes because I don't want to mess this up. So let's just do the size. Let's do minus 70 and see what that gets us. Okay, so that's not working. So let's just go back to zero. Okay, well that works. What is this changing then? Let's change this to um, 10. Change this to minus 5. Um, I'll only be able to tell if I break some blocks. Okay, so it did move it down. But it moved it down by a lot. Let me check one more time. Okay. So let's try doing that again. So minus 75 or do 75 tall minus 65. And I should be able to see it, but I don't see it down here. I thought it would fill that area, but it's not. Oh well, if anything, it won't work, but it should. So, let's give it a test run. So it's going through all these different Y levels. There it goes. Something happened, we must have a blockage of items, that's probably what it is. Yeah, blockage of items currently. Can't keep up with cobblestone. That's okay, though. That's okay. Look at that. We're getting these ore berry bushes. Copper, tin, and aluminum. All very nice. Okay, so yeah, we got, we got, we're getting stuff done. So we have a test rack. That's really nice. Um, and all that is good. Well, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please over to click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and also give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching.